Hello everyone. I want to welcome you to today's Open Heavens Reflections telecast. The Open Heavens Reflections are based on the Open Heavens devotional written by the General Overseer of the Redeemed Christian Church of God, Pastor E.A. Adeboye. My name is Akiola Shoroe, and by the grace of God, I pastor the Redeemed Christian Church of God Victory Centre in Southeast London. Our topic for reflection today is the healing name. And our Bible passage is taken from the book of Acts, chapter 3, from verse 1 to verse 9. Now, Peter and John went up together to the temple at the hour of prayer, the ninth hour. And a certain man, lame from his mother's womb, was carried, whom they laid daily at the gate of the temple, which is called Beautiful, to ask alms from those who enter the temple, who, seeing Peter and John about to go into the temple, asked for alms. And fixing his eyes on him with John, Peter said, Look at us. So he gave them his attention, expecting to receive something from them. Then Peter said, Silver and gold I do not have, but what I do have I give you. In the name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth, rise up and walk. And he took him by the right hand and lifted him up. And immediately his feet and ankle bones received strength. So he, leaping up, stood and walked and entered the temple with them, walking, leaping, and praising God. And all the people saw him walking and praising God. Our memory verse is from the book of Mark, chapter 16, verse 17. And these signs will follow those who believe in my name. They will cast out demons. They will speak with new tongues. Our reflections for today. Dear friends, I'm aware that a lot of people find it very hard to believe that just mentioning the name of Jesus Christ and applying that name in prayer will lead to solutions for life's many problems. Maybe you, my listener, yes, you, that are listening and watching me right now. Maybe you are one of those people I'm talking about. I'm not going to blame you, nor am I going to condemn you. You know why? Because the reason is that many years ago, when I first gave my life to Christ, and being a convert from another religion, I found it very hard to believe that the name of Jesus Christ was more than just a name. It took the patience and perseverance of God to teach me the way of faith in the name of Jesus. It was during this journey that I came across this passage in the Bible, specifically Philippians chapter 2 from verse 5 to verse 11. In verses 9 to 11, the Bible says, Therefore God also has highly exalted him and given him the name which is above every name, that at the name of Jesus, every knee should bow, of those in heaven and of those on earth and of those under the earth, and that every tongue should confess that Jesus Christ is Lord to the glory of God the Father. Now these verses made a lot of difference to my attitude towards the efficacy of that name. And from then on, through patience and perseverance on my path, I began to trust in the power that's available in the name of Jesus Christ, the Son of the living God. As I began to apply the name in faith during prayers, I saw people delivered from all kinds of demonic influences. Personally, I received all manners of miracles, signs and wonders, as well as tangible changes in all of my personal circumstances. Jesus Christ himself promised us in our memory verse of today that when we use this name in prayer, in faith, he promised that we would definitely experience all manners of signs and wonders in our lives, including healings and deliverances for you and for your family. I encourage you to try applying that name in faith in your prayers. May God bless you. Let's pray together. Jesus, the healer, I believe in your name. I believe in your healing name. Please have mercy on me and heal me today. 
through your name. Amen. Thank you so much for watching with us today. Until I come your way again, it's goodbye and God bless you.